Alright, in this video I'm going to be discussing how to back up your Scratch Live library and what to do in case something bad happens to your entire Scratch Live library. Uh, for example, like your crates are gone, uh, they don't load, or you're missing a lot of crates. Now for whatever reason, you know, this happens from time to time with some people. I'm not exactly sure why, but, you know, stuff happens. Uh, you lose your crates, your database gets corrupted, uh, you know, stuff like that happens, unfortunately. That's just the nature of using software and stuff like that. But how do we how do we get around this so we can get all our crates and database and all that good stuff back up and running? Uh, so when you exit Scratch Live, uh, you may notice sometimes you see this message right here: your Scratch Live library back up on Macintosh hard drive. My book is more than one week old. Uh, these names just refer to which drives you're using. Uh, this is my internal drive, the MacBook HD, and the My Book is my external drive. Uh, so these are both uh, outdated, and I need to back them up. Well, some people get confused on this. This doesn't. This option doesn't back up your actual music files and all that stuff like that. It just backs up your Scratch Live folders or your Serato folders now in 2.2, and it basically just makes a copy of them. Uh, it doesn't back up any of your music files or anything like that. So uh, it's a good practice to always do this every time you see this message. It should show up about once a week. Uh, you can also make manual ones whenever you make new crates and stuff like that, in case you don't want to wait uh, the one week time for it to back up again. Uh, but it's always good practice to have this option checked. Backup library, yes. And then we'll click exit. So, uh, let's say worst case scenarios. You delete your entire library and all your crates and stuff. So we'll go, since I'm using my external drive for all my music, we're going to go on here. So, if we go on the root level of the drive, we're going to see we have the Serato folder and the Serato backup folder. Now, as I mentioned, uh, the backup folder is just an identical copy of this folder, the Serato folder. And this is the folder uh, the program Scratch Live looks for to load all your crates and stuff like that from. So this is inside that folder. If we look inside the backup folder, we'll see it's the exact same thing with the exact same files. Uh, as I mentioned, it's just a copy of this folder right here. So worst case scenario is, uh, let's say your database gets corrupted and none of your crates load, or let's just, no, screw it, let's just say you delete your Serato folder like that, and you also emptied your trash so you can't get it back from there. Let it delete. All right, so oh crap, we just deleted our entire Scratch Live library. See, no crates at all. All the crates are gone. So how do we get the all our crates back using the backup folders? Well, we got to close out of Scratch Live. We don't want to do it with it running. And all we simply need to do is just rename this backup folder to underscore Serato underscore. So basically, just take off the backup from the name, and uh, you know that's basically it. And let's start Scratch Live now, and we should see, ta-da, all the crates are back uh, up and running. So, you know, that's pretty simple. So it's always a good idea in practice to make sure you always have a good recent backup copy of that Serato folder. Again, when you exit Scratch Live, uh, once a week, it should you should see this message, and it'll back it up itself. Or if you make uh, new changes and you don't want to... Uh, wait one week for the backup to message again. You can simply just make a copy of your Serato folder and just, you know, paste it, you know, on the root level as well. And then you have a copy right there and you can rename it whatever you want. Uh, Serato, uh, let's call it uh, latest crate backup. All right, just like that. So, you know, just in, again, something happens to your Serato folders. Uh, let's delete both the regular one and the backup one. You know, as long as we have a copy of, you know, the folder, all you really need to do is just uh, rename it to underscore Serato underscore. And that will always get you back up and running. Easy as that. So, that is how you back up and restore your library in case the worst case scenario is, you know, you lose all your crates or your database and stuff like that. Uh, you know, you'll always have a safe backup to restore and fall upon. And if you're not using an external drive and you're doing everything on your internal drive, then you're going to want to do the same thing I just showed, uh, except you're going to do it on going to your music folder, and you'll have your Serato folder and your backup folders uh, in your music folder on the internal drive. Just do the same thing there. Uh, rename the backup folder uh, to Serato underscore Serato underscore. 